what is up, Crocs and Clan members, you okay, watch fans, and other Zool Stump Puns video. I am sorry to Crocs, and we're here with episode 68 review of your Kai Watch. I apologize, it's only going to be one review today. I had some stuff to do this morning, so I wasn't able to, like, watch the episode and record the review and all that stuff. So I'm sorry, I think I'm, I think what I'm going to do is, like, on Sundays, I'll just watch episode one episode and then record the review and then have it scheduled, upload like, upload scheduled uh, for for Wednesdays, and then, like, just watch the second episode in the afternoon, just so I have enough time, because, like, I feel like, by pushing myself to, like, oh, I'll just wake up in the morning, but, like, I've been so busy these past couple of weeks that I just have, I haven't had a chance, um, so I do apologize for that, I'm, I'm I do not want to let you guys down, um, so this episode was kind of weird, um, I liked the first and last segment, and then the middle one was kind of just... I don't know. I, I I was confused and conflicted with it. So like the first episode, the first segment is you know the the little mini series with the with the little the, the little helper dude. I gotta admit I love those. I was I'm shocked that I like it so much. But we had one that's like very you know danger. Like he does the dangerous stuff and I gotta admit that guy. I feel bad for this man. Like they even did this thing where like he he had a picture of his family was there, when doing one of his missions where he had to like jump over like a bunch of like toys of like planes and stuff like that and then like the his target was like at the end of the line and it was awesome he's like he pulls out a picture of his wife and kid and he's like <laughs> help him do my best and then he, it was amazing it was actually amazing i gotta make like this man took all the hits all the hits like he was fucked up by the end of it that was crazy i felt bad for this man um, so that was, but it was great. I freaking loved it. And then, like, the, the so, like, the middle segment, it, like, I said, it was kind of weird, and I, it was really hard for me to digest. Uh, the yokai involved, uh, was a fucking Pegasus, and, like, it made you do stuff that you didn't want to do, and it was weird, because, like, I, I don't know, and, like, Kanto was possessed, like, he actually was possessed the entire episode. Like, there was a little bit where Fumi was the one being possessed, but then, like, he transferred back to Keita, and then he started doing all these weird things, and, like, he summoned G-Menken of all things? Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, it was weird. It was weird. And, like, the second, like, he didn't, nothing got resolved. It was just a weird thing of, like, a Pegasus, an evil Pegasus that made you do things you didn't want to do, and, like, you couldn't control yourself, and it was random. Like, they even did this, like, this was the weird part about it. Like, they made this thing where, like, Whisper kind of knew what was going on, but then, like, he acted like there wasn't a yokai involved. It was like, so you, you make it seem like something that's not, you know, normal is taking control over the situation, but then you deny the possibility of it being a yokai. It was, I don't know, like, that, that that whole segment was just a mess, in my opinion. I was not a fan of it at all. And then the last segment, I was, it started off weird, okay? It started off really fucking weird, and I was getting creeped the fuck out. But they did something that I gotta give them props. Even though it was a weird segment, it was a weird fucking segment, I have to give them props. Because this, I, I, I feel like this is the thing that this show needs. We, we've seen it a couple times here and there, you know, uh, but very, very few in between. I think this is like the, probably like the third or fourth time I've seen this happen in like, you know, um, you know one of the main segments where they actually make a callback to a, a past episode because the little like imitator robot dude, right, he came back and then like he they, they did the callback to where like he asked Robonyan to teach him how to imitate, how to transform himself to become an actual like what he's trying to imitate. And like it was it was a it was like a continuation of we what we had before. So even though the the segment was kinda weird and I was creeped out about certain things, the fact that it was tied to a previous segment, I I said that was great. That, that's what I, I think that this that's what makes this show have potential. But then, like, the fact that it's so episodic and so, like, segment-oriented kind of really hurts the series, in my opinion. Like, I feel like Yokai Watch could be so much more if it was, like, actual, like, story plot and then, like, development and, like, uh, character arcs. I feel like that right there would definitely help push this series to a whole other level. 
And, like, I think that they should definitely do more callbacks to previous episodes to kind of tie some of them together. Uh, so this was great. Uh, some of the stuff that he did was weird and awkward. But the fact that he became more popular than Keita, like, he imitated Keita. And the fact he made he became more popular than him, I gotta admit, that was perfect. That was, like, literally, like, take that, Keita, you little bitch. There you go. Look at that. Somebody can do you better than you. So get on my level, bitch. I don't know. I hate Keita. You guys should know this by now. I hate that dude. So, like, I, I gotta say, this, I like this new version. This other guy is fun. He does some weird shit, but he's he's definitely better than Kenta's old dumbass. Like, we don't need you, your real-ass version. Get out of here. We, we, we won't be sticking with the with the fake one from now on. Uh, but, yeah, so it was great. I gotta admit, that was pretty cool. Um, and that was it. That was it for the, this, the, the, this episode. It wasn't bad. Uh, I gotta admit, it wasn't bad, but that middle segment was just just threw me off in so many ways, and I just, uh, just no. So, but yeah, so link will be in the description as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. I am Source Croxon. See you guys in future videos.